I remember those fabulous memories of, of just growing up in the most remarkable place in Richmond. Um, you rode your bike everywhere, you knew your neighbors, you were part of the community, you'd go to the, the mall, you would know people. Um, you never had any disharmony. It was the most beautiful place to, to grow up. And when did you start to feel that things were beginning to change in a way that concerned you? Three years ago. What was it that you noticed? Well, I noticed a big sign in my neighborhood. And it was two blocks down on Lindsay. And I thought, what the heck is that all about? And then I started seeing all the real estate signs start to you know, go up. And there seemed to be a real estate frenzy. And then next thing you know, houses are getting mowed down. I'm going down three road. I could start to see some changes there. It was just bang. It just hit you. It, I, I, it was something different. I sensed it. Being here all my life, you don't have things in another language. That was, that was not familiar to me. I didn't know what had happened. I had gone to the store. And I looked around and I went, oh my goodness, there's a lot of new people here. And they're not speaking English. And there was a whole family speaking a different dialogue. I don't know what it was. And I said, could you guys speak English? And they said, no, you don't, I don't have to. I can speak French. And they put their hand in front of my face. But I've never asked someone to speak English up to that point three years ago. And I was taken back because I'm thinking, I've never, I've never been put in a situation like this. And now it's on a regular basis that you go shopping, there's people everywhere, they're yelling in the store, and the, there's poor manners. There's just, there's no respect. What, what good is it for being a Canadian if you can't go and hear your language being spoken? What, what is a Canadian? I try to communicate with my neighbors and they can't speak English. Everything's done by translation. I don't think that that's healthy. You know, I've been suggested I maybe move to Ladner. My area is 75% Chinese, that I need to move. I can't see my future living here under the circumstances. I, I, I'm questioning what multiculturalism means now because it's, it's not making a whole lot of sense now. Because what I've learned about multiculturalism is multiculturalism comes first and then your country. I don't know if that's true, but that's what I've heard it to be. And if that's true, then that's probably why it's not working. Does it feel to you almost like you're isolated? You're, you, it's becoming to where you're living in a foreign country where you grew up? Absolutely. In Quebec, they do have language laws to protect French language culture. Are we at a, that point in English Canada in big cities? <sighs> You would hope that we don't need to have language police and that we can do it on a, on a respect basis. 